Well, first off, I want to be very clear. The treasurer has three specific responsibilities. Number one is cash management and managing a couple of investment accounts. Number two is handling unclaimed property. And number three is managing the education accounts for the state. So I want to... The answer is to continue relations with these people that I work with in government over decades, I do my work with the utmost of integrity, work ethic, If I can have the candidates for state treasurer, please come to the podium. I know that's kind of starting to sound like a, maybe a bit of like the announcement for a, a boxing match. Hopefully we don't have to go into that today. All right. <laughs> and I do want to also introduce Roger Edwards, who handles our membership as well as is doing the timekeeping today for the debate. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, do you guys need me to go over the rules yeah, why don't as a refresher? Please. Yeah. Okay. So there will be one-minute introductions. Then there'll be questions, one-minute responses each. If you guys want, there's a 30-second rebuttal. Just signal me, and I'll give that to you, but only one rebuttal. After we get through the questions, there'll be a two-minute closing statement. You guys are both clear on that? Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, so when you do the rebuttal, you will not see the yellow flag. You'll just see the red. All right. Since we started on the left in the last debate, I'm going to start on the right for this one. And so first opening statement, one minute. Would you begin, Mr. Derek Yohara? Great. Good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today. I want to thank the Republican Men's Club for all the organization that went into this. I'm running for Nevada State Treasurer because I see an opportunity to make a difference in three ways. We can brighten the future of our young people. We can improve the quality of life in our communities. And number three, we can enhance the economic health of our great state. This is my 19th trip up to your great city, and I think the message is resonating. I'm honored to have received the endorsement of the Washoe County Republican Assembly. Thank you. I'm honored to have received the endorsement of the Nevada Republican Assembly. Thank you. And just recently, honored to receive the endorsement of Douglas County Sheriff Ron Perini. Working together, we can address Nevada's challenges and make our state better and stronger than ever before. So I invite you to join me in investing in your future, in investing in our future, and investing in Nevada's future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uehara. Mr. Bob Beers, you have one minute. Thank you. Uh, my name is Bob Beers, here to ask for your vote today. I'm the only certified public accountant in the race, and that's important. We'll get to why. Also, I've got experience. I did five legislative sessions service on the Finance Committee. That means I understand how the budget is constructed and how all the different entities work together or sometimes don't. That'll be valuable information that will allow me to hit the ground running working for you. Also, I have a record you can check. Professional certifications is another area. The cert CPA license, we'll get back to that eventually. And then the third area is marketing experience. Three times I've served as the chief marketing officer in the private sector, twice for companies that I've started and then later sold, and the third time in between for another company. And there we get a team of employees together to develop a strategy, implement it, monitor the results, change the strategy, implement, monitor, change the strategy until the eight years is up. I've done it successfully three times in the private sector. I could do it for you in the public sector, but I would need your vote. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move on to the first question. Since you began the first question, Mr. Bob Beers, or sorry, with the intro, Bob Beers will have the first question. This comes from our board chairman, Mr. Ray Rocha. What do you feel is the prime job of the treasurer of the state of Nevada? Managing cash flow is the primary uh, statutory obligation of the treasurer. The treasurer is the custodian of stuff versus the accounting department, which is the reporter of what the control or what the treasurer has. The job essentially comes down to not bouncing checks when you read the law. In addition, there are several education initiatives. I've been a long champion of educational alternatives going back 15 years to legislation calling for the breakup of the Clark County School District, and some more exploits that I'll tell you about in a few minutes. Uh, but I, I think I'd relish the role of being the chief alternative education uh, spokesperson for the state, which appears to be a role that the legislature has given to the treasurer. 
Thank you, Mr. Beers. Mr. Derek Yohara, you have one minute. I would point to two things. Number one is prudent and responsible cash management. Residents of our state entrust the treasury to manage cash flow effectively, so that's number one. And number two, uh, and this is very rarely cited, we live in a democracy. A democracy is healthy to the extent that our residents are aware of and are participating in the activities of government. During my uh, travels throughout the state, when I ask people, how many of you know what the treasurer does? Very few hands go up. When I ask people, how many of you are aware of what the 5 to 9 plan is? Very few hands go up. This is a challenge that we have to address. So a big part of the treasurer's job is to get out and inform our residents, an informed population who can participate, question, and hold our elected officials accountable is important to the future success of our state. Thank you. Would you like to do a rebuttal? Yeah. For 30 toward, seconds, sir. Toward the cash management end, <clears throat> I have experience uh, assisting in the management of public investment in the Nevada legislature, as well as on the Las Vegas City Council. The other side of that, by the way, is, is debt, and I have service on the Clark County Public Debt Management Commission in context with my city council service. Those are two very important components of cash flow management, and I'm the only candidate that brings that experience to the table. Thank you. Mr. Yurohara, would you like 30 seconds? I would. I, you know, I want to thank um, my opponent for his uh, efforts in community service. It's important to acknowledge that he left the legislature not of his own free choice. He was voted out. He, 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 he uh, um, lost his bid for re-election to the Las Vegas City Council. His choice was to have been there. He's here running for treasurer because he was uh, voted out by his uh, constituents. It's important to listen to the residents of our state in this position. As your treasurer, I will listen very carefully to what our residents have to say. Thank you. We're going to move on to the next question. This question was also submitted by our board, board chairman, Mr. Ray Rocha. What administration, on the first, wait, yeah. You will get the, this question first. What administrative experience do you have? Yeah, that's a great question. I um, run my own practice at Wehar Financial Group. We provide wealth management services. I manage 16 individuals uh, across 12 different states, and we cover four different functional areas, retirement planning, investment planning, estate planning, and legacy planning. So when we coordinate all of these activities, it's important to have a clear vision, clear direction, clear communication. These are the same skills that I'll bring to the office as your treasurer. I'm sorry, could you clarify, did you ask about administrative experience or coworkers? It is what administrative experience do you have, sir? <clears throat> administrative experience? So the city councils in Nevada are quasi-administrative, quasi-legislative bodies. They have a, a hand in both uh, areas. But my primary administrative experience has been in starting and selling uh, two businesses and working in other businesses as well. I have a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration from, uh, from the Nevada System of Higher Education with high honors. And uh, of course, the CPA license is a two and a half day test after a fifth year of education. And you need two years experience for other CPAs before you're awarded that license yourself. Uh, so they're all involved in business administration. They all lead to administrative experience. But specifically, I have had employees built businesses, sold them, and that's the bulk of my administrative experience. Thank you, sir. Is there a request for a rebuttal on this question? All right. We will move on to question three. This question also comes from our board chairman, Mr. Ray Rocha. Does anyone else get a say besides uh, the chairman? <laughs> <laughs> there actually are a couple others. OK, just checking. What do you see as the two most important things the treasurer's office is to accomplish? You know, I, I think uh, I've answered part of this question, but I'll repeat that. I think, number one, um, we really have to inform our population. Again, a healthy democracy is only healthy to the extent that we have informed residents who actually participate and hold our elected officials accountable. So we, I mentioned to you in my travels, very few residents understand what the treasurer's responsibilities actually are. Almost no residents understand or have heard of the 529 plan. As your treasurer, I will work to get this word out to everyone in our community so they can participate and hold the officers accountable. The second thing I would point out to is the prudent and responsible management of cash. Um, again, the residents entrust the treasurer to handle that responsibility. 
I will uphold your trust by response, uh, investing Nevada's uh, resources prudently and responsibly. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Bob Beers, you have one minute. Yeah, managing cash flow is the first, and managing the unclaimed property and college savings programs is the second. All right. Any rebuttals? 30 seconds. Seeing none. All right, we're kind of moving ahead of schedule. All right, this question is from not our board chairman, Mr. Ray Rocha. This is from an Alan Strapini. What is your view regarding the use of state and local tax benefits to entice businesses to move to Nevada? What risks does this uh, practice impose on state and local governments? Mr. Bob Beers, you'll have it first. Um, well, that's more than a 60-second question, sir. Uh, I guess the short answer is uh, we have a mixed record in Nevada offering these incentives to businesses. Um, you know, we, we've had, like I said, a mixed record. Uh, and then in the case of the Citibank and the banking industry, we drove them out 15 years after we attracted them here. So uh, it's, it's chaotic, and it, is, it seems to be uh, wavering and cyclical. And overall, when I count Faraday, when I count the cash flow crunch that Tesla is currently undergoing that caused the closure this week of the plant here to the east of us, I'm not so sure that we're doing very well with it. Thank you, Mr. Beers. Mr. Yohari, Could you repeat minute. the question for me one more time, please? What is your view regarding the use of state and local tax benefits to entice businesses to move to Nevada? What risks does this practice impose on state and local governments? Right, thank you. Well, first off, I want to be very clear. The Treasurer has three specific responsibilities. Number one is cash management and managing a couple of investment accounts. Number two is handling unclaimed property. And number three is managing the education accounts for the state. So I want to clarify, this is, does not fall under the purview of the treasurer, right? But that being said, number one, we need to understand the nature of the game. We live in a very competitive economy, not just in the United States, but throughout the world. We're competing, competing against the world right now. So we have to be open to being competitive to what the market is offering potential businesses to come over. Obviously, if we're going to do this, we need the input from all segments of our population, our business people, uh, the other uh, uh, aspects and constituents in Nevada who will be affected by this. So I would want to hear testimony from all of them to understand their perspective. And based on that, a decision can be made. But let's be clear, this does not fall into the purview of the treasurer. Thank you. Seeing no request for rebuttal, we'll move on to question five. This question is from a Mr. Jim Hogan. This will start with uh, Mr. Derek Yohara. In regards to the Office of the Treasurer, what is the biggest issue facing Nevada? How many of you know where Nevada ranks nationally in education? We know the answer, right? That to me is the biggest challenge, right? All, number of business owners and leaders here, what is your greatest resource as a business owner? Your people, right? Nevada, our greatest asset is ranked 50th in the country. Carly Simon had a great song, Nobody Does It Better. Sadly, our song is, nobody does it worse. I hope this upsets you, and I hope that this brings us all together to address this issue. We must work on and invest in our young people. We cannot succeed, we cannot sustain our success as a state with our young people being ranked 50th in the country. What's good, new, what's good to know, and the reason I'm running for treasurer, is because one of the biggest responsibilities is managing the education accounts. Primarily the 5 to 9 plan, great opportunity. As your treasurer, I will work to get every child in the state that account so that they can begin thinking about the future. Please join me in investing in Nevada's future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. O'Hara. Could you repeat the question? With regards to the office of the treasurer, what do you feel the biggest issue is facing the state of Nevada? The treasurer is a pretty technical position. Uh, the, the, the treasurer poses threats to state government if we bounce checks. Uh, the treasurer poses threats to state government if somebody steals money. The treasurer poses threats to state government if the 529 plans go unaccounted for. Those are pretty much the areas that the, that the, uh, that the treasurer has, and it's up to Nevadans to decide if you want to work horse or show horse. Thank you. All right. We're going to move on to question six. Mr. Bob Beers, this one will be yours first. 
What can the treasurer do to ma make Nevada more business friendly? I think the treasurer can have extensive business experience. Um, being responsible for employees versus not being responsible for employees in the past is a big distinguisher. And uh, that should be an important component. Um, you're going to have a treasurer who's going to be able to talk to prospective businesses as a peer. Yes, I've owned a business. Yes, I've had employees. Yes, I've been working with state government for some time and can help you guide you there. Uh, so that's, I think, what the treasurer can do to help improve the business climate and, and business friendliness. Much of that rests with the Assembly and the Senate, which is why I would urge you all to get out and work for your favorite legislator or legislative candidate. Thank you, sir. Mr. Yohar, you have one minute. You know, government for all people is seen as impersonal. Can we agree on that? There's a big government that's there to obstruct us, that's to prevent us from doing what we want to do. So I think to increase um, attract businesses, we need uh, a face. We need a face that people have seen. We need a face that people can relate to. And we need a treasurer who is visible who will be seen not only by our state residents, but our visitors from the United States and from around the world who come here. Uh, in addition to that, we need uh, a candidate, uh, a treasurer who has the energy and enthusiasm to be approachable so that states, businesses, countries that want to invest will feel open and willing to approach the treasurer to talk about potential transactions. So that's a big part of it. We have to get away from the impersonal nature of government and bring the personal aspect to it in order to attract more business. As a rebuttal? Go ahead, sir. You have 30 seconds. Uh, as a rebuttal, I also think it would be incumbent upon the treasurer to speak up during legislative sessions and say, you know, this would probably hurt our business friendliness. A prime example is the commerce tax or the gross receipts tax, whatever you want to call it. I've been a pretty tireless opponent of this thing for many, many years, and I would continue in that vein to urge the Nevada legislature to reduce regulation to promote Nevada's business friendliness. Sir, would you like 30 seconds? You know, I appreciate uh, any effort, obviously, that will help our state. Let's be clear, the treasurer, again, has those three responsibilities, cash management and investing, unclaimed property, and education. So let's focus on that. Let's be a visible presence to attract outsiders to come and invest in our great state. All right, now we're going to move on to closing statements. You will have two minutes. We're going to start with Mr. Bob Beers. I was hoping for the question that someone asked about what's the, uh, how are you going to work with your coworkers when you're no longer their coworker or something along? How do you work with, maintain relationships with people you used to work with in government after you moved on to a new position? And in 2003, I was one of the leaders of the, we called them the Fearless 15 that stood up against the first gross receipts tax and a one-third increase in the scope of state taxing and spending. And one night outside Glen Eagles, Governor Gwynn ordered his highway patrolman to shoot me. <clears throat> he was pretty mad. In 2005 legislative session, he and I came back and together passed legislation to give every Nevadan $300 per car back on their motor vehicle registration. The answer is to continue relations with these people that I work with in government over decades, I do my work with the utmost of integrity, work ethic, um, making other people the star, and, getting, and focusing on getting the, do the job done, focusing on the result. Um, that is what I can do here. Uh, why am I running? Well, I came from a family that just cherished public service. And um, my state has a hole in the lineup right here because our treasurer decided not to run again. And it fits my resume dead on. So I'd like to earn your vote for treasurer. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Yohara, you have two minutes. Thank you. I'm a former U.S. Army reservist, and for the past 18 years, I've been proud to call Nevada home. Truth be told, this state has been incredibly good to me. I started my career here. I started my business here. I met my wife here, and I got involved with the Donald Trump for President campaign right here in Nevada. I'm honored to have been part of his Asian American Advisory Council, one of 30 individuals nationwide, the only one here from Nevada. 
Nevada is facing some serious challenges. We have an opportunity in the treasurer's office to address them. We can brighten the future of our young people, we can improve the quality of life in our communities, and we can enhance the long-term economic health in our entire state. I'm asking for your support because working together, we can address this. A very important question we have to consider, what kind of Nevada do we want to live in? Do we want a Nevada of young people who are desperate and are tempted to make bad choices because frankly they haven't been prepared properly? Or do we want to live in a Nevada of young people who are energetic and optimistic, who have goals, who are giving back to our community? The choice is clear, and working together with your support, we can do that. I'm honored once again to have the endorsement of the Washoe County Republican Assembly. Thank you. I'm honored to have the endorsement of the Nevada Republican Assembly. And once again, Douglas County Sheriff Ron Perini has graciously endorsed me. I welcome that. But I need your support as well. So I respectfully invite you to join me and join us in investing in your future, in investing in our future, and investing in Nevada's future. Thank you. This is Bill, and thank you for watching. Go ahead and, if you're not signed in, sign into your Gmail. Go right up here and subscribe to RMC TV. And go over here, watch a couple more videos. Link to our website at republicanmensclub.org. And finally, make sure you go down and leave a comment. The comments really help. See you on the next video.